Hey guys, welcome to day 2 of 15 days to spring boot mastery challenge. Have you completed day 1 of this challenge which is introduction to spring? If you have not completed, please watch the previous one and proceed further. Day 1 was completely theoretical because we were learning the concepts of spring. Now let us get our hands dirty. For day 2, we will do it in 2 parts. In part 1, we will do the environment setup that is needed for our mini challenge. In part 2, we will do a simple spring application using Maven. Now, this is part 1. We will do the environment setup that is needed for our mini challenge. These are the softwares that we will install now. Spring Toolsuit, STS, which will be the IDE for developing our Spring Boot applications. MySQL, which will be the database that we will be using for this challenge. Docker, we need to download and install Docker because we will be containerizing our REST API in the end. I will share the links of these downloads in the description and also in the WhatsApp group. Now, you follow along with me. Let me open the browser. First, we need to download Spring Toolsuit. So, let me type it out. Click on the first search result. This is from spring.io website. Let me click on this. Scroll down. Spring Tools 4 for Eclipse. Pick and choose the appropriate version based on the OS of your machine. For me, it is Windows. Choose a folder of your choice and download it. Let this download. We will proceed further for MySQL. MySQL download. Click on the first search result. Scroll down. Come to the bottom. Here you have MySQL community downloads. Click on this. Click on MySQL installer for Windows. The version that we are going to download is 8.0.40. Scroll down, download the MSI installer. Select the web community installation because we need the workbench also. In this page, you don't have to log in or sign up. In the bottom you have no thanks, just to start my download. Click save. Let this continue. We will proceed further for Docker. Download Docker. Click on the first search result. The OS of my machine is Windows. So I am downloading Docker desktop for Windows. Let me click get started. Download Docker desktop. Let me click on this AMD64. And click save. Let me open that folder. Spring Toolsuit is downloaded. MySQL also is downloaded. Now let us install it. In case of Spring Toolsuit, it is just a zip file. We need to extract it. Select right click extract. I will select the root folder location only. That is Spring Boot Softwares. Click extract. Because automatically it will create the main folder. Okay, let this continue. You need to wait for a long time for the extraction to complete. So, let it continue. We will proceed further for installing MySQL. If you are having any other version of MySQL in your system, first remove that. Next, start the installation. Double click on it. Click yes. Click yes again. Here you need to go with the defaults and install MySQL. Okay, now the window has come. Choosing a setup type. Select both server and client. So click on full. Click next. Where you need to install. It is asking for the installation directory. And where the data has to be stored. You can give a different directory location. Click next. Click yes. Okay. Now MySQL server, MySQL workbench. MySQL shell that is command line client, router, 
the documentation, samples and examples will be downloaded. Click execute. This will start downloading all the products. Meanwhile, let us check Spring Tool Suit. Now the extraction is complete. Let me open it. Here is your application. Let me double click on Spring Tool Suit. Click on More Info. Run anyway. Now your Spring Tool Suit should open like this. This means your Spring Tool Suit IDE is ready for working with Maven projects, Java projects and also Spring projects. We need to select a workspace. You can pick and choose a folder of your choice. Because we are working with Spring Boot Mastery, let us give a proper folder. Don't go with the default workspace. Let me click Browse. Spring Boot Mastery. I have created a new folder. So this is my workspace location. Whatever applications we are going to do going forward, everything I will store only in this particular workspace. Click Launch. Okay. Now my Spring Tool Suit is ready. Click Exclude and click Proceed. No. Click OK. That's it. Now let me close Spring Tool Suit. I will open MySQL installation part. All the products are downloaded. We don't need the documentation, samples and examples. So we don't have to extract it. Let me click next. Click execute. Now all the softwares will be installed one by one. If you are already having MySQL version 8.0 in your system, you don't have to follow this procedure. Just for this mini challenge purpose, I have removed my existing MySQL database and reinstalling this one again. Okay. Let it continue with the installation part. We will proceed further for Docker. Let me go back to Spring Boot softwares. Here Docker also is downloaded. Let me double click on the installer. Click yes. The version of Docker that we are installing is 4.36. Okay. Go with the defaults. Click OK. Now this has started its work. I will go back to MySQL again. You can do the installation one by one also. It is your choice. I am doing it simultaneously. That's all. Now all the installations are complete. Let me click next. We need to configure the products that we have installed. Click next. Now we need to configure these three products. MySQL server, MySQL router and samples. But I don't need the other two. So I am just going to configure MySQL server. Later on, if I want to see the existing examples, then I can come back and configure it again. Let me click next. We are configuring MySQL server. You can see it over here. The port number is 3306. Please go with the defaults. You don't have to do any changes. Except for the part that you need to provide the password. Click next. Click next. It is asking for a password. Usually the default password that is given for MySQL is root in lower case. So I am going to follow the same thing. If you want to have your own password, you can provide that also. So for me the password is root. Repeat the password root again. Click next. The Windows service name is MySQL 80. Whenever your system is getting booted, automatically I want to have MySQL server running in the startup. So Start MySQL server at system startup. This is checked by default. So you can go with this defaults. If you are not providing this, then every time when you are starting your machine, you have to manually start MySQL service. I will go with the defaults. Click next. Yes, grant full access to the user running the window service. Click next. Click execute. Now the server is started. Click finish. Okay, the next product to be configured is MySQL router. I don't want to do that. So let me click cancel. Yes. Okay, how to check whether MySQL is installed or not? Go to the search box, type MySQL. So you should have MySQL shell, MySQL command line client, MySQL workbench. I always prefer to work with MySQL command line client. 
so let me open that it is asking for the password the password is root and now i have got the mysql command line client so this setup is also successful let me close this the next one is docker docker installation is succeeded click close let us check whether docker is added to the system let me type docker yeah docker desktop let me click open click accept click finish again click yes click personal provide an email address provide an email address and proceed with the setup if you are selecting your gmail you can proceed with that and complete the setup click skip okay let me close this starting the docker engine now if you have reached till this part this means your docker is working perfectly fine okay now the docker installation is also complete please follow till this and complete the installation okay we have done the complete environment setup that is needed for this mini challenge you can proceed to part 2 in part 2 let us do a simple spring application using maven let us learn code grow together thank you